final preparations are underway for a historic mission to space. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. You're watching News 6 at 530. The clock is ticking for Starliner's first launch with a crew on board. In just over three days, Boeing's rocket will blast off from the Space Coast, bound for the International Space Station. It's been a long time coming for the company. Boeing first announced Starliner in 2010. In 2014, NASA chose them along with SpaceX to build crewed spacecraft. But it took until December of 2019 for a first test flight to the ISS, which was unsuccessful. A second uncrewed test happened two years ago, which did make it to the space station. So now, with astronauts planning to be on board come Monday, New 6's James Barvero asked them how they feel about all the delays with this program. So here at Kennedy Space Center, I'm walking into the auditorium that we get to talk to mission managers about Monday's big launch. And I'm in here pretty early because I think as big as this launch is going to be, it's going to be pretty crowded in here. So I'm glad I got a seat. On Wednesday, reporters got a chance to talk to Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, the Starliner astronauts. Today we get to talk to the heads of NASA in the mission, like Administrator Bill Nelson and Mark Nappy with Boeing. Mark manages the Starliner program. And since most of our coverage about Starliner the last few years has been about the delays, I thought I'd ask him about that. I couldn't be more proud of this team. We're at peak performance right now, and we're really looking forward to executing this weekend, executing a launch, and executing the mission in the same way that we got here. We're ready to go. Is a source of your confidence working through all the delays over the last few years? Has overcoming that adversity brought you to this point where you feel as prepared as possible? Well, you know, we go through a pretty rigorous process to get here. And really where my, my source of confidence comes from is going through that process. And we've come to the point where we are all in total agreement. You can't be more confident than that. Butch and Sonny have talked about staying focused on their tasks at hand as well. On Wednesday, the veteran astronauts were asked about if they were feeling any pressure. We've both been here before, been in crew quarters, getting ready to launch on a shuttle. Uh, I don't I don't necessarily think it's jitters. I'm just thinking it's more like last minute checks. Preparation, getting the mindset, that's just part of the process and that's what we're doing. So that's what we're staying focused on. And the crew's historic launch continues to be on schedule for 1034 Monday night. We'll bring you any updates over the weekend here on News 6 and ClickOrlando.com. And then on Monday, we'll have team coverage here at Kennedy Space Center. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, Getting Results News 6. James, thank you. And you can stay up to date on all things space by subscribing to our Space Coast and Beyond newsletter. James and News 6 anchor Eric Von Inken send the latest info from here on Earth and in orbit right to your inbox every Monday morning. You can subscribe right now by going to clickorlando.com newsletters.